Hi you two, Miss Vaughan here and I am sharing a story with you called The Hunter and the author of this story is Paul Geraghty and Miss Vaughan was actually really lucky I got to meet him a few years back and I learned that he's not only an author, he does his own illustrations too. So he's a very talented man. So. In the early morning, Jemina went with her grandfather to collect honey. They followed the honey bird into the bush. I want to see elephants, Jemina cried. Grandfather, do you think we will? You'll be lucky, said the old man. We don't see many now, not since the hunters came. <gasps> hunters? Jemina's eyes lit up. I'm going to be a hunter. Jemina played hunters. She shot the mighty elephant. She tracked a rhino deep into the forest. She stalked a pride of lions. Then she turned back to look for her grandfather. But she had wandered too far into the bush and the old man and the honey bird were nowhere to be seen. She called out, but there was silence. Then, far away on the wind, Jemina heard a sound, a sad and desperate cry that tugged at her heart. She held her breath and listened. Jemina looked up. Vultures hung high in the sky in the heavy noon heat and all around she could sense danger. Never go alone into the bush, her parents had warned. But the sound was so mournful, she couldn't help but follow. Further and further she went. Until she came to a clearing. There she found a tiny elephant trying in vain to wake his mother. The hunters had been, and like Jemina, he was lost and afraid. Don't cry, little one, she whispered. Jemina tilted her head to listen. Perhaps the rest of the herd was nearby, but all she could hear was the endless rasping of insects in the heat. She knew the baby would not survive alone. She could try to lead him home with her and perhaps they would find his family on the way. But the baby was frightened. I'm not a hunter, she said softly. For a long time she spoke to the elephant until he grew calm and nuzzled her with his tusk. Jemina stood up and walked a few steps. The baby followed, tottering weakly in the blazing heat. Then the rain came and cooled by the water. The elephant found the strength to go on. At times they slipped and struggled, but they kept on walking right through the storm. As the skies cleared, the baby grew more excited and for a moment, Jemina thought she could hear elephants. But when she stopped to listen, there was only the whispering of the grass. For a long time, the elephant would not move. Then sadly and si silently, he carried on. If you are lost, her grandfather had told her, follow the afternoon herds. They will lead you to the river and home is on the other side. It was a long time before Jemina and the elephant found the herd of zebra making its way across the plain. They travelled with the thirsty animals all through the hot afternoon. As the sun dipped in the sky, they finally reached a river, but hidden eyes watched them from the water and Jemina sensed the danger. It's not safe to cross here, little one, she said. We must travel on. As Jemina turned, she thought she could see elephants on the horizon. She blinked and strained her eyes, but there were only acacia trees shimmering in the hazy heat. Jemina and the elephant set off again, but soon the baby began to slow down. Just a little further, begged Jemina, but he was too tired to go on. 
as Jemina waited for him, she thought of her mother. If only she could call her. Soon people would worry. Soon they would come searching. The baby whimpered. She stroked him gently. He had no mother to call. Listen, Jemina hushed the elephant. They could hear voices. My parents, she thought. But the dark shadows in the distance were not her parents. Punctures, she gasped under her breath. Now Jemina felt too. She was being the one hunted. She prayed that the baby would not whimper. But the elephant sensed evil and stayed as still as a stone until the danger passed. Darkness fell and the whoops and howls of the night's creatures sent a shiver down Jemina's spine. She huddled close to the baby, then clung to him in fear as the deep, terrifying groan of something hungry sounded nearby. As Jemina waited to be hunted, the words of her grandfather came to her again. If you are ever in danger, he said, never lose hope. So Jemina listened for her parents and she closed her eyes and wished for them. But instead, she saw elephants. Her mind was filled with the great herds of long ago, the mighty tuskers her grandfather had seen when he was young. Giant elephant shadows moving like ghosts across the plains. She could hear their deep and gentle murmurs close by. When she opened her eyes, there were elephants all around. It's as if she called them in her dream. Jemina wasn't afraid. Take this little one, she said, and keep him safe. By the first light of dawn, Jemina's mother found her sleeping in the grass. I was playing hunters and I got lost, Jemina said. She stayed very close to her mother all the way home. I will never be a hunter, she said softly to herself as they reached the village. So both Jemina and the little elephant made it back to their family. So it, although it's a little bit worrying at times, there is a good ending to that story. And Miss Vaughan wants to share with you, this is a drawing that Miss Vaughan did back in 2015 when I met Paul Garrity.